Hello students. Welcome to the maths class. Today we are going to learn division. Division sharing by grouping. In division we either find the number of groups or the number to be put in each group. Let's try to understand the concept of division by sharing through an example. Kinjal wants to treat three of her friends on her birthday. She brings 12 pastries from her house and gives them equally to all her friends. How many pastries will each friend get? Kinjal starts distributing the pastries as shown. First, she gives one pastry to each friend. Then, she gives one more pastry to each friend. She gives another one pastry to each friend. Kinjal still has some pastries left. She gives one more pastry to each friend. No more pastries are left with Kinjal now. Each friend gets four pastries. This can be shown as 12 divided by 3 equals to 4. Here, 12 is the total number of items to be distributed or shared. 3 is the number of groups with whom the sharing is to be done. And 4 is the number to be put in each group. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, 12 pastries shared equally among 3 friends means dividing 12 by 3 to get 4. Thus, we have found the number to be put in each group. Now we will see division as repeated subtraction. Division can also be understood as repeated subtraction. Let's see one example to understand this concept. There are 12 ice cubes in a tray. Two ice cubes have to be put in each glass. How many glasses are needed? Put two ice cubes in the first glass. 12 minus 2 equal to 10. Put two ice cubes in the second glass. 10 minus 2 equal to 8. Put two ice cubes in the third glass. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Put two ice cubes in the fourth glass. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Put two ice cubes in the fifth glass. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Put two ice cubes in the sixth glass. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. No more ice cubes are left. We can say that we subtracted 2 6 times from 12. Therefore, we can say that division is repeated subtraction. Thus, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So, we need 6 glasses. Now let's see some properties of division. There are certain properties of division. Let's understand them. Division of a number by 1. A number when divided by 1 gives the same number as the quotient. For example, 112 divided by 1 is equal to 112. 1225 divided by 1 is equal to 1225. Division of a number by itself. A number when divided by itself gives the quotient as 1. For example, 119 divided by 119 is equal to 1. 7430 divided by 7430 is equal to 1. Next property is division of 0 by a number. 
0 when divided by any number gives the quotient as 0. For example, 0 divided by 79 is equal to 0. 0 divided by 653 is equal to 0. Division of a number by 0. It is not possible to divide a number by 0. We cannot divide any number by 0. Thank you students.